Good morning, evening, afternoon, I'm Tato Cat. Welcome to my channel. Today we are playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy, or what for short. Previously, we finally got into the trial. We got Edgeworth to kind of be on our side because Edgeworth's like, I'm not a, your little boy anymore. Something like that. And he, and he said something that was kind of hot. But not what I said. <laughs> um... Now, Ibba is on trial. Well, not on trial. Is talking, witnessing the stand. And apparently she drew a picture. And it was never in the evidence. Now I gotta show where was the evidence. And I have to figure out where that evidence was evidented as. And I have to look in the evidence. Because I don't remember the shit I have. I have so much evidence. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's look at the evidence. I was thinking... It could be the picture, but I feel like that's, like, overthinking. And it's probably just, like, the evidence list. And that even though I can't read the... <laughs> well, it is! <laughs> Look at that! I was thinking it was listed here. And I was just wiggling around. Because I was using my controller as a fidget toy. And look at that. Is that a chainsaw? Or is that the trophy? <laughs> a picture of a drawn on the back of the evidence list and magic marker. I have a very bad feeling about this. Well, there I have it. There it is. That answers my question. Okay, uh... Where's the move forward button? Money... Arrest me. I drew a picture! Okay, um... Present. Objection. Mr. Edgeworth. This little girl put all her heart into drawing that picture. And yet, you would insist on denying its existence? Huh? Hey, I'm not the bad guy. All I'm saying is that as the prosecutor for the for that case, I wasn't handed such a picture. That may well be. But that doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Behold! This is the evidence list for the SL9 incident. No. Please turn it over, your honor. I found it because I was fidgeting with my controller myself. You do the same. See what you find. Turn it over. Turn it. Ah, what is this? Yes. What is that? Hey! That's it! That's the picture I drew! Indeed. Two men appear to be wrestling here. Objection! What's the meaning of this? What are you doing with that list? Me? <laughs> I just broke into the office. I mean, I didn't break in. I be I didn't break in because Gumshoe walked in with me and he willingly gave me his card. I entered in there like any other person with a police ID could do and then I entered into the safe even though that wasn't in the safe because I knew the combination he should just be better at putting in numbers he might as well put password in for a password that's not my fault that's his fault only the prosecutor in charge 
should have access to the list. Huh? These lists, they're... They're different from each other. What? It would appear, Mr. Edgeworth, that the evidence list you handed two years ago was... incomplete. These two lists fit together to form one. So it was just like neatly torn and again it has that work. You would you would think people would know this if it was like actually no. I understand like half a list not given, like if there was like multiple pages and they didn't have little numbers on the bottom to imply how many pages out of how many pages were there. But like for it to actually be torn, you think somebody'd be like no, this is ripped, man. Or this is cut, because it's actually physically shorter than it should be. You can see this mark here, where they were torn apart from each other. So you see, Mr. Edgeworth, it's quite obvious what happened two years ago. Only have the evidence in that case ever reached you. What? What? Order, order. But Miss Skye, why did you draw your picture on the back of such an important list? Because that's what Detective Goodman handed me it. In the questioning room, your honor. Wait a minute. If this list was torn in half, then that means... Your honor. Are you all right, Mr. Wright? Your eyes are bulging from your head. If the evidence list was torn in half, then there might be more of the drawing on the back of Mr. Edgeworth's list. Yes, that's quite conceivable, Mr. Edgeworth. It's possible, let's see. <laughs> <laughs> There's something wrong. Do you even have to ask? <sighs> Sorry, Your Honor. There's indeed something drawn on the back of my list. It's that thing. That, that, that thing? That thing that was dancing in the evidence room? Clearly this is an act of vandalism. This act of vandalism is the work of a certain chief of the detectives. I guess he was out of scrap paper. Evidence list. List of evidence in the SL9 incident. Half of the list was found in Gaunt's desk. Very well, witness. Will you please testify about this picture you drew two years ago? Sir, your honor. What's wrong with Emma? She seems to be thinking about something when she's looking at that picture. This is the picture I drew two years ago. 
The flash of lightning. Oh, oh she's just really bad at drawing hands. The flash of lightning was so bright, all I could see were shadows. After that, I must have fainted. This picture shows exactly what I saw that instant. Instant. To think a flash of lightning could be... To, could burn such an image in your mind. Thanks to that, though, she was able to show us exactly what she saw. Well, I don't see any contradictions here. This clearly shows Joe Dark about to murder prosecutor Neil Marshall. And it clearly shows a blob about to do something to a blob. The defense may now begin its cross-examination. Okay, yep. Did you draw this picture right after the incident? Um, I think I drew it two or three days later. At first, I was in such a state of shock that I couldn't do anything. During that time, the investigation team was re reorganized. Detective Goodman was placed in charge under the direct under the direction of Damon Gaunt and Lona Sky. Two or three days later, the memory should still have been fresh in her mind. Excuse me, witness. But can you please tell us why this picture is painted all black? Because all she could see was silhouettes. There's some lightning, it's all I could see was see the shadows. So, at the time, you didn't even know it was Mr. Marshall who had come to your rescue. No, I couldn't see him clearly. The lightning was so bright, and I was knocked to the floor. You were knocked to the floor? Dark had a tight grip on me, but when Mr. Marshall jumped on him, I was knocked away. I turned around and that's when the lightning flashed. Poor Emma. I'm just glad she wasn't hurt. What happened after the lightning flash? Did the thunder roll? After that, I must have fainted. You mean you didn't see the actual murder take place? No! I'm sorry. The flash of lightning only drove off the darkness for a split second. Not only that, but the trauma of the situation understandably caused the witness to faint. Do you really need to torture this girl any further? What? Hey, hey, I'm not the bad guy here. Anyway, this picture... This picture shows exactly what happened in this instant. Sorry for asking so many times, but... Are you sure you drew exactly what you saw? Of course! This is the exact scene! It wasn't influenced in any way from your talks with the de detectives. Objection! Are you insinuating we somehow implanted her memory, Mr. Wright? No, of course not! You better watch out, or he might find some way to cut my salary. I drew this picture before I heard anything from the detectives. So I don't think anyone 
story would have influenced me. Mr. Wright. Is there something that bothers you about this picture? Huh? Oh, well... It's strange. She claims that this is exactly the scene that was imprinted in her mind. And yet... There's clearly a contradiction here. Now, let me look at the picture. So, like, my thought is, if I mean, I guess they wrestled. But, like, this looks like somebody who was just caught by surprise when their back was turned, not somebody who was fighting this person. That looks like he'd have been stabbed in the back and not in the heart, right? Neil's autopsy report. Heart and lung. So, that... He'd be stopped in the back. Uh, I'm going to be wrong here, aren't I? <laughs> I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but this picture the witness drew contains blatant contradiction. Yesterday. Mr. Wright, perhaps it would be faster if you simply pointed out the contradiction for us. What part of this picture contradicts the back part of perhaps? Where am I supposed to do the knife part? The This part. No, not the head! No. It's not what I meant. The 
stabby part? Okay. Take a look at the knife this man is holding. Is, is that what it was? I feel like I got the right answer, but for the wrong reason again. I'm really good at that. If you look closely, you can see its tip is broken. Even if, even if I don't do the, even if I don't look closely to see that, Mr. Wright. But, Mr. Wright, look at the evidence. See the murder weapon? Its tip is broken too. If I recall, the tip of the knife was found broken off in the victim's body. It was the conclusive piece of evidence that proved Joe Dark was the murderer. I'm afraid it's not so simple, Emma. And where, pray tell, could you possibly see a problem? It's obvious, really. The victim suffered a single stab wound to the back. If the victim was only stabbed once, the murder weapon should not yet be broken. See, yeah, I'm right, but for the wrong reasons. <laughs> Then the murder weapon, yeah, yeah, I read yeah, that part. Ah! What's the meaning of something? <laughs> Perhaps the knife was broken beforehand. The was found inside the body. Sorry, but I'm afraid that's not possible. The tip of the knife was found inside the victim's body. If it was broken beforehand, it couldn't possibly wind up there. That's right, but that was the case that the tip of the knife was undoubtedly discovered within the victim's body. Body. The only possible explanation is the witness's memory is mistaken. That's why I asked her so many times if she was sure she remembered correctly. I believe you were annoyed at this at the time but she was sure she remembered correctly but there's no other way to explain this inconsistency not so fast mr. Edgeworth there is another explanation have you forgotten already a little something called falsified evidence. You're treading on thin ice, right? All I'm saying is that this broken knife tip might be the piece of evidence that was forged. You can't deny the possibility. No. Ugh. Order, order, order. Are you saying the investigation really was corrupted? Your Honor, please allow me to once again go over the ev events that took place the day of the murder. The police department and the prosecution's office, prosecutor's office, were holding a ceremony that day. After receiving the King of Prosecutors Award at the ceremony, 
Neil Marshall questioned Joe Dark along with Damon God. During his questioning, Joe Dark fled the room. Prosecutor Marshall chased after him and was killed by Dark. It is my belief that somewhere in this story, there is a lie. Hmm. I... I'm not lying. The man really was holding up a broken knife. If that's true, then there is no other way around it. This could not have been the actual murder weapon. There must have been another broken knife. What are the chances of there being two broken knives? Another broken knife besides Joe Dark's? Have there been another one? It was mistaken. There is another one. If the witness is adamant about the accuracy of what she says, can't just be explained away as a single observational error. Mr. Wright? In that instant, Emma really did see a broken knife. I assume then that you have some information about the other broken knife. If so, please feel free to enlighten us. The murder weapon was already broken prior to the murder. There's only one way. Take a look at this. Here is a here is a real murder weapon. Anything's broken. It's you. Huh? No, no, no. No, because uh Okay, no, no, like cause you know the, the halberd from it! The halberd is broken. This picture. God damn. <laughs> right here inside this picture. I see a figure, like, because the trophy that they'd be like, oh yeah, because originally there was a knife in there. I didn't realize I had to. But, uh, okay, game, okay. Because it just said King of Prosecutors trophy. This is a picture of. Oh, the awards to me. Ah! What is it, Mr. Edgeworth? You get why I showed the trophy the first time, dickhead? It's a broken murder weapon. Notice the award Prosecutor Marshall is holding? See how broken that knife is? That's a broken knife! As we earlier concluded, the knife in the drawing was not Joe Dark's knife. That being the case, the knife the witness saw was all was in all likelihood from the award. This award. Order, order. Neil Marshall was awarded. King of Prosecutors that day. As an award, he was given his broken shield and knife. 
When he chased after Joe Dark, he pulled out this knife. Being a prosecutor, he did not carry a pistol. This broken knife was the only weapon he had in his dang in this dangerous situation. But that that can't be. No. Oh. And why not, Mr. Edgeworth? Because as the King of Prosecutors Award Knight was the murder weapon, then the murderer and the victim would be perverse. What do you mean? I mean... The man raising a knife would have been Prosecutor Neil Marshall. Oh? Oh! Well, in that moment, that could have been the case, right? But the prosecutor was the one who actually died. That's true. What's going on here? I don't know. It seems Mr. Wright has been a bit too eager to jump to conclusions. Oh! She did a hold it. Well, we'll end the episode here. We'll see where this is all going in the next episode. I'll be right for the wrong reasons and wrong for the right reason? Uh, no. Just wrong even though I'm right. Because that happens a lot in this game. <laughs> Until then, see you next time.